Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat and I'm starting a weekly vlog today because it's Monday and I very rarely have a Monday off. So I thought that I would start filming today and yeah, do a classic reading vlog do another autumnal reading vlog and yeah, read some spooky books hopefully. So at the moment I'm kind of in the middle of filming my bookshelf tour, which hopefully would have already uploaded on my channel last week. It's just actually really nice weather today, the sun is shining. So I thought today would be the best time to film it just because the shelves will be really nicely lit up. And yeah, I already actually tried filming that video before and it took me like over an hour to film. And then I looked at the footage and it was just like really grainy because it was a cloudy day and the lighting was just not it. So yeah, I've put a lot of effort into this video and I really really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you watched it. So I'm gonna finish filming that in just a little bit after this clip but I thought I'd introduce this vlog first and yeah let's just get into like what I'm reading at the moment. So at the moment I'm reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I was reading this during a recent 24 hour readathon that I did. I started it during that readathon but I actually haven't finished it um, and this bookmark is wrong because I've been listening to the audiobook. So perfectly I am now on part two. I'm really, really enjoying this one. So this is a YA like murder mystery thriller. And it's about this girl called Pippa who is investigating a murder case in her town. This girl went missing and it was presumed to be a murder. And the police decided that it was this girl's boyfriend. Pippa has a theory that it wasn't actually him. So she's kind of investigating it as part of like an extra qualification that she's doing alongside her A-levels. So she's writing this report on it. And it's really, really interesting, but also because it's YA and because the protagonist and this is such a character this is actually really really fun um and interesting at the same time so yeah this is actually a really really great book to be reading at the beginning of october well at the end of the september beginning of october because that's kind of when it's set so yeah i'm really excited to keep reading this hopefully i can finish this within this vlog and let you guys know all of my thoughts i will also be reading a lesson in vengeance by victoria lee which is actually downstairs that is one of my patreon book club picks and I'll definitely be reading that this week so I will let you guys know a little of my thoughts on that one as well but as it is my Patreon buddy read book I will be making a complete separate vlog uh, that is like completely spoiler filled and yeah showing my thoughts on that one really so yeah I just thought I'd mention that I will be reading that one today I don't really have any other plans apart from like filming and editing um but I think me and Jam Jed are gonna go on a walk a little bit later in our local park which should be nice like a little autumnal walk and then my sister's actually coming to stay tonight I'm really excited to see her it'll be the first time that I've seen her since it was like her birthday and like since me and Jamsha got engaged so yeah it should be a really lovely evening. She's actually flying out of the country tomorrow so that's why she's actually staying with us so that she's a bit closer to the airport but yeah it will be so lovely to see her and then next week I should actually be going back to my parents house with Emily as well. Oh and maybe we can go pumpkin picking if the pumpkin pad is already open i would love 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 to do that but yeah i guess with this week i'll just pick up the camera whenever there's something to tell you guys can't wait for all the reading this week and yeah i'll speak to you guys very very soon Um, so it's been actually a couple of days now. It is now Wednesday and I have just been sitting here reading My Pen is the Wing of a Bird, a new fiction by Afghan women. And I'm literally like a couple of short stories away from finishing this, but I thought I would check in now. So I don't know if you can tell what I've actually been crying. So yeah, that is why my eyes look like this. But anyway, this short story collection is absolutely fantastic. I mentioned it in a recent vlog of mine and I just wanted to say, yes, it has taken me quite a long time to read this like I started it in either late August or right at the beginning of September so it's taken me like just over a month to actually get through this yeah it's a difficult read and you know it's very confronting and it definitely makes you like check your privilege and reflect on the things you take for granted and also by the way the reason I've got two bookmarks in here is because Jamshed's just started reading it as well and he is no surprise is absolutely loving it and it has been absolutely flawed by it so far but yeah basically the reason i'm just talking about it in this clip is because i really want to see more people read this book it only has 258 ratings or like reviews 
on Goodreads, which is absolutely tiny and it deserves so many more. I just feel like it deserves so much more exposure. If you want to learn about Afghanistan, if you want to read some short stories, then I highly, highly recommend this book. It is so touching. It is so beautifully written. It's just so enlightening. And I think it's an amazing thing to learn about real life events through fictional stories. I don't know, this book just has so much heart and I just think so many more people should read this. And I know I've said this in a recent vlog, but now that I'm towards the end of actually finishing this book, I feel like I can tell you guys like my proper review. I will be giving this five stars and I will be recommending it in future like recommends videos. So yeah, you guys will probably see me talk about this again. Let me just read you guys a quote from the story that I just read, which is actually based on the real life events of the 8th of May, 2021, when there was an attack on a school of girls. Loads of those girls lost their lives. It is because our people are illiterate. Even many of our kings and ministers were illiterate. They could only fight, not read or write, and people danced to the drum of their ignorance. Now they say the Taliban has changed, but how could they change without reading a book? If a person never reads a book, how can he change? If all our parents were literate, girls like you wouldn't face these troubles. Our geography itself would not be in such constant danger. Our history must change at some point. So yeah, hopefully I've convinced some of you to just even like look this up and see if it's something that you'd like to read. Good boy. Alfie. Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> guys so it hasn't obviously seemed very long to you guys but it's been like a week in my life so I did go to work for like four days and then I came down to my parents so I've been here for a few days but I didn't really vlog because there wasn't too many reading updates to give you guys but I've just been actually kind of stressed because I don't know if you heard that was the puppy oh she's trying to get to sleep anyway but yeah I've been a little bit stressed and like quite busy because I've been filling out some paperwork for my review coming up at work so yeah I've been focusing a lot on that and I haven't really been doing much reading during the day at least I've kind of just been hanging out with my family and the dogs and stuff so every single night I've been listening to the audiobook for A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson so I'm now actually on page 288 because I've been reading a little bit of this every single night, like listening to it for like 20 minutes. Um, so slowly but surely I'm getting through it and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I feel like it's definitely like sitting on a four stars right now. It's definitely giving me like a lot of the tropes from my favorite series, which is Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> but it's so much more than that and also it's set in the UK. The format of this book is really really cool as well. Before I came to my parents I was also reading A Lesson in Vengeance which I really really need to continue. Again I'm actually really really enjoying this. I'm just getting 
into this one so i'm now on page 102 which is chapter 9 if you want a witchy halloween read this is absolutely perfect it's about this girl who's returning to a boarding school after being gone for a year after something tragic happened between her and this girl alex she's returning back to the place where this all went down and it's kind of like a mystery surrounding what happened to her there and you slowly like uncover the truth like bit by bit it kind of gets drip fed to you throughout the book there's like a folklore like history about these five girls called the dalloway witches and they were all like murdered or like died at the site of this one residence at dalloway school which is the place that felicity is living so yeah it's super creepy it definitely has some nods to the secret history i'm really really enjoying this and i can't wait to see like where the mystery goes and what else gets uncovered i'm like super frustrated and just want to know everything but i just haven't had time to read so yeah i can't wait to get back into this one to be honest with you i don't really know if i'll get to like update you much more with these two because i was hoping to conclude this vlog tomorrow hopefully i could keep this vlog going till like past the weekend or something because i don't think this vlog has been very long so far i did bring another couple of books with me although i'm not gonna read them uh the other ones by fran hart and also addy larue uh, by b schwab i really thought i would do a lot more reading but whenever i come to my parents house i do like less reading than when i'm at home that was definitely a bit of overkill on my part in terms of packing so anyway tomorrow our plan is to go pumpkin picking so unfortunately we can't go to the place we went to last year because that's only open on the weekends so we can't go to the one with like the fun like haunted house thing so we're gonna try a different one this year hopefully it's fun even if it's just the pumpkins like i'll be happy because i just wanted to go to a pumpkin patch so bad we're also gonna get coffee and like hopefully like browse from shops in this really really cute town it has a whole castle there so it should be good so i really can't wait to go back and see what it's like now especially in the autumn because i think last time i went was like the summer but yeah i think that's it for this update i am filming this like late at night because we just got back from a dinner which was really nice we went to this like local pub and got dinner as a family which was really really sweet and then hopefully tomorrow as well me jam child and emily are gonna film a fun video for my Alice patrons. We're gonna film a Who Knows Me Bad of my fiance or my sister, so that should be really fun and I actually can't wait to see what happens. It could go either way. I don't think Jam Shed's ever done a sit down video, so that is gonna be really interesting, hopefully fun. But yeah, I think I'm gonna skedaddle and go to bed now and I will probably continue this vlog in the morning. These are the ones I've chosen so far. I don't I don't really usually go for the warty ones, but like something about these I just really really enjoy visually. <laughs> Emily's gone for the beast <laughs> and the cute little ones. And I think I just want one more, like maybe slightly larger or like similar size to this for actual carving. I think I'll use these two for decorations. But yeah, I've got loads to choose from.
Hi everyone, so I'm back in London now and yeah, I've just been working for the weekend like I said and it's now Monday so I thought that I would conclude the vlog here and just give you guys some updates on like how I did with the books that I was reading and also show you my pumpkins that I actually picked from the pumpkin patch on Friday. So I got this cute little white one. Hello, this is actually the perfect pumpkin. It is so, so cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep these pumpkins here but yeah so i got that one i got this larger one which i'm not going to bring down so i think at the beginning of vampathon on one of the first days i'm going to carve that pumpkin for the week of halloween which i'm so excited for and then i got a couple of kind of medium sized ones i got this one i don't really usually like the warty ones but for some reason i really wanted them this year and i got this cute little one as well this one might be my favorite but yeah i had such a great time picking those pumpkins with emily and my mom it was such a nice day we also went for coffee and we went to that castle that i told you guys about i don't know what it is like london i feel like doesn't do halloween very well i feel like you have to go to like little towns and they all have like the cutest decorations in their shops i am kind of obsessed with those little towns that like take halloween as seriously as i do <laughs> but anyway my reading so i did actually finish a good girl's guide to murder and yeah i promise this is the last time i'm going to speak about this because i feel like i've just been talking about it in every single video but yeah i ended up giving it four stars it's kind of like a four four point five stars i really really enjoyed the ending because there were like different elements to the mystery i thought that was super satisfying i don't really know if i'm as excited to read the next two books in this series just because I mean, I won't spoil anything for you guys, but for those of you who have read it, you'll know why I'm a little bit hesitant, um, just because I'm not sure I'm going to be as interested in like the mystery of the next two books. But yeah, please let me know in the comment section if you've read the series and you think that it's worth reading the next two, or whether you think it works best just to read the first one. Yeah, I would love to know your opinion because I want to know if it's worth buying the next two books. But yeah, that's it for my reading updates. I've really let myself down this October. I feel like this happened last year as well. Like I didn't read as much until like the last week. Uh, which is fine, like I'd rather go with the flowing, like go with how I feel. But there are so many books that I had planned to read this month and I just don't think I'm going to get around to them. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!